Neuroblastoma is the most commonly diagnosed cancer for children, but a new treatment appears so effective that doctors brought that clinical trick to a quick end. As reporter Harper Babin explains, one of the Valley's very own hospitals will have it available for use for its patients. Three-year-old Jack Morin isn't old enough to realize the importance of the medicine he's about to get. He'll be one of the first patients at Phoenix Children's Hospital to start immunotherapy. We knew right away we were going to do it because that's the biggest thing is it coming back. And if it gives him any greater chance whatsoever of it not coming back, I mean, why wouldn't you do it? The standard treatment for Jack's neuroblastoma included chemotherapy, major surgery, and radiation. But survival rates of high-risk patients were less than 50 percent. By adding immunotherapy to the standard treatment, it improved survival rate to approximately 70 percent. That's an encouraging number for patients and their families, but researchers say there's just not enough funding to provide these new treatments for everyone. Funding for childhood cancer is not um, as great as um, in adults, and it's only through um, research that we can um, uh, improve cures in children. Last year, 200 new neuroblastoma cases were treated at Phoenix Children's Hospital alone. But for Jack and his family, part of the struggle with the disease is lack of public awareness. It's not fair. These kids are so small. And, you know, this is something that needs to find a cure, not just a way to get them through. Because for Jack, just getting through another day of play is priceless. In Phoenix, I'm Harper Babin, Cronkite News. If all goes as planned, Jack will begin treatment of immunotherapy at Phoenix Children's Hospital in November.